Hey my little angels and welcome back to another video guys. So anyways, I know this is a very unnecessary video to just talk about the rain event, but I decided to just let you guys watch all these different plays because a lot of people were like, oh, where should we stand to get the yellow colored berries or the purple colored berries? I don't, I think bramble berries are the purple ones and the cloud berries are the yellow ones. I'm not sure. Anyways, so you guys can just watch me play through a few of these rounds just to see it's just so you can get an idea of where you might have better luck, but honestly, it's like total luck because like the planks that keep shifting around, it keeps turning. That is going to be the variable in this all and like the very precise place you stand, even if you stand like one pixel away, you might bounce at a different angle and thus altering your results at the bottom. So that's why it honestly does not matter too much where you stand, but I have seen a rough, I don't know, I've seen like a rough like better incline like yesterday I was getting all the purple ones and I did not need any more purple I have way too many purples as you can tell in these videos now today I'm actually doing I'm standing at a different location so right now I have gotten yellow ones so it's a bit of luck a bit of maybe where you stand but anyways as you watch me play through these basically the event will start and then make sure that you move before it starts making you fall before the plank falls away you can move in like the first 5 to 10 seconds, I think, before it does not let you move anymore. Make sure you move else it will think you're AFK and you will not get the prize. So make sure you move as soon as map comes on. That's like the only thing you have to do. After that, you'll just drop down all the way to the bottom. You have seven different slots. So you have seven different possible berry prize options. The middle one is three yellow berries. Right next to it are one one yellow berries each. And then I think you have two purple berries on either side of them. And the furthest one, you have one bramble berry on either side, I believe. And you have a possibility of jumping from one of those slots into another based on how much forest you fall down. But you can only get a maximum of three berries in 10 minutes, so to speak. So each round of maps, you can only get three berries. So even if you jump maps, you can only get a maximum of three berries, as you can see in some of these videos. I'll also show you some examples where I did that too, so that you guys get the idea of that too. The only way you can actually get more than three is if you log out and log back in. So that's why you see me trying to log back out as soon as I get the adventure, and log in and try and hop and find rooms. So that if I do happen to get three, those will be three extra ones. So yeah, so I basically maximum that I've been able to do is hop on three maps but not when I can log out three times, two times to get three maps. I have to like jump from one to the other and then log out and then come back in for the third one. So if I get lucky, I have gotten three maps, but the best way to farm these is use slash chat event. So that's how you're going to be able to keep track of it. There are a lot of people who will tell you the time when it's going to come, the exact minute before it started for 15 to 20 minutes, but that was only in like the first hour that it came out. After that, it got changed to 54 to 55, 50, no, it changed to like 56 minutes. Then it was like 54 to 55 minutes. And at this very moment that I'm recording this, which is on Saturday at noon time, Pacific Standard Time, right now the time is 50 minutes. So I think they're slowly going to decrease the time that's going to take for the event to come. So by the time you're watching this, if you see it later on, the time might have decreased even. So right now we're keeping track of the exact minute so you can check in that chat or on Discord. We also have other pings that'll tell you like, oh, it's going to come up soon. So make sure to be online. And then basically we're making a Defilante room so that everyone, when there are like two minutes left for the event, we're in the Defilante room and we're just quickly dying so that we get the event at the exact moment that they start doing it. So we're getting quickly skip rooms to a different place. So that's how you farm the event. I hope that was helpful enough. And... Yeah, so along with these berries, whenever you get the berries, you're also getting one cheese coin per berry that you're getting. Oh, I also jumped out of like the middle box and into like one of the other side boxes. Maybe you've already seen it in the video as I'm talking. But yeah, it only gave me two of the three berries because I did not touch the third berry before jumping out into a different side box. So that's also happened. So the maximum number of berries that you can collect before it says that you have maxed out your inventory, you can get the purple berries which are 30 in number. And for yellow ones, you can get a maximum of up to 35, apparently. I have not reached these limits. It's just what's said on the Transfer Mice Wiki page. So I'm just letting you know about that. So I'm just letting you know about that. And as you can tell, I did spend my tickets, what I was saving for um, the St. Patrick's Day event. So I did spend those tickets over here and I got myself all the three different possible rewards. Rewards from the past rain event, 
So that's also there. There are only three possible rewards if you didn't get any of the rain event stuff last time. And in your adventure point section, there is one badge thing with a number 15 next to it, which no one knew what it was. Basically, you'll earn that adventure point as soon as you buy the badge. The badge costs 30 of these purple berries. And I, the, even though you collect 30 of the berries, it does not give you the adventure points immediately. You have to cash them in to buy the badge. That's when you'll get the adventure points, but you do not get any tickets with it, which is really sad. The only thing that you get is adventure points, which is kind of useless. So yeah. But anyways, at the very end of this video, I just ended it. I'm going to keep trying to get the title now. But at the very end of the video, as you can see, I have turned in my 15 yellow berries for this orb. And that's like really pretty. And now I just need to work on another 15 yellow ones for the title of Little Droplet. And then I'll be done with this adventure. And hopefully I'll keep getting some more yellows and try to get some more tickets. But the purple berries are pretty useless because each one gives you either five seeds, shells, beans, whatever you want to call it, or one frog pet. And yeah, so that pretty much sums up this whole thing and all the different possibilities of farming what and whatnots. So hopefully that helps you determine where you guys want to stand. For the purple ones, wait, the easiest way I can tell you is stand on the extreme far corners, stand outside of the ropes if you want to get purple ones for the most part. See, this is based on luck, as I'm telling you once again, so it's not guaranteed at all, but that's what I've seen in the trend that I've been doing right now. Recently, I've been standing between the left and the middle ropes. I'm standing right in the middle of both of them, or slightly towards the left, so that's how I'm getting the yellow ones right now. I think you can stand between the middle and the right rope. One of my friends said they stood right in the middle of the middle of the right rope in between them to get yellow ones as well, so that's roughly how it's been going, but it's totally dependent on luck. But, you know, you can try it out. I hope this helps. Bye, you guys. Kidding shop. As always, peace.